Hello everybody, my name is Petr Koutny and today I have for you another brilliant chess game coming from chess history and because this game was played on 1925 and today we have 2023 so it's around 98 years uh, since this game was played. So that's amazing amount of time and still this game is alive. So let's watch this game till end and let's enjoy. Let's be better chess player and let's play chess because chess is a beautiful game. Alexander Alekhin with white pieces and Frank Marshall with black pieces Baden Baden 1925. Right now of course is not good idea to take pawn on d4 because this pawn is Poisoned. Here is a check and uh, queen on d4 is for free. So for this reason e5 and now white took on e5. After this move all plans are on the board and it's good to understand what's happened. You know just one pawn capture nothing else but since now till end we have chance to split chess boards to two halves and here we see that black has got three pawns against two so that's a typical left side pawn black's majority and black's plan is to push his pawn forward and to make a pass pawn if he is not able to play this plan he will face a problem because at the other side white got four pawns and black only three so the same plan is here waiting for white four against three and white has to push these pawns as far as possible as fast as possible as strong as possible of course and do something before black will uh, push his pawns on a queen side and that's it knight g4 it's not about pawn on e5 still it's about pawn majority so knight f3 knight c6 bishop g5 e7 take take knight c3 exchange 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 and h3 so queen d2 nothing special happened you know black won or back a pawn but still what we are waiting for is a time when white or black will start to play their main plans and still we are speaking about pawn majorities so of course both players has to bring their pieces to game at the first second both players has to hide their kings and the third they have to start to push their pawns that's it you know follow your pawns and you will follow your chess dreams because everything is up to your pawns and up to your pieces that's all what you have to understand if you're playing chess so bishop d7 and now bishop c6 and a long and a short castle why um, white played a long castle of course because if white is going for a short castle it's uh, difficult for him to push a4 g4 h4 h5 g5 a5 because this king on g1 it's not a safe at all it's a, it's a weak on of course if you have plan you have to follow your plan same if you have dream you have to follow your dream and White's got dream and White's got plan to push his pawns on the right side of the board because White's got pawn majority there. And of course, that's a typical and strong chess plan to play where you're stronger, to play where you have more pawns, pieces, space, activity, and that's exactly um, the side where white's got pawn majority right now so short castle f4 good move because every move uh, following this plan is a good move so f4 is of course nice e5 is good and now rook e1 okay uh, rook d8 and f5 what's happened these two pawns 
are now very dangerous to black and black has to be careful you know where is the different uh, different is here that black's pawn majority is still sitting on the seven rank black's pawn majority is not going forward it's not going to hurt white king at all but at the other side white pawn majority is doing good job and that's the difference between winning and losing that's a difference between chess understanding because yes of course what's going on is to understand chess positions chess plans and Pawn majority is one of the most typical chess plan ever and it's good to remember him as one of the strongest chess plan and for this reason it's good to follow this game Alekhin Marshall 1925 and of course if you enjoy this game if you enjoy this plan and if you enjoy my video feel free and press like or press follow and made my day thank you I hope you did and now let's come back because black queen on e6 is under attack and has to come back but where this queen has to go of course this queen has to go to e7 because uh, this knight is not happy hanging if white think if white but take this knight is losing a piece or a rook or exchange on e3 so for this reason still don't touch this knight but queen g5 and now of course f6 every chance to push your pawn majorities every chance to push your pawns has to be taken and your pawns has to go forward queen f8 nice queen on f8 of course i mean a very passive and very bad black queen on f8 and bishop c4 and if you if you're going to start think how is possible that from zero to hero i mean from nothing to winning position white outplayed blacks the answer is of course uh, because white pushed his pawn majorities as fast as far as possible but what about black's pawn majority nothing sitting there and that's the reason why it's good to follow uh, the greatest chess game of chess history and one of them of course is Alekhin Marshall I'm happy to show this game because this game is important for everybody who is looking for chess improvements so knight c3 why not exchange exchange and uh, take on g7 that's a big big problem even uh, now check on a2 nothing special and queen e8 you know what's so funny now even white is not interesting at all to take this knight why to take this knight because e6 and still and still and still the same plan push your pawn majority and go for victory and that's the best way how to play chess check f5 and e7 and now queen f6 you know pawn majority two pawns on the seven rank three pawns black's pawns on the seven rank that's the reason why black lost this game after this beautiful move um Alekhin was one of the greatest chess player of chess history and all respect to him it's good to remember him as one of the greatest men in chess of course Frank Marshall was great as well and even he lost here his chess hero as well and you know it was good time to remember these two guys and to show you this beautiful chess game black resigned it Alekhin won and you saw beautiful chess game if you enjoyed this game if you enjoyed my commentary feel free and press like or press follow and made my day thank you i hope that i am going to meet you soon in our another youtube chess video um, in the meantime play chess enjoy your li life and stay cool thank you very much for watching see you soon take care bye bye